for charisma. So people now will chase popularity more than they will chase potency. One of my frustrating moments is when I go to these big conferences. And the problem is I do these conferences and it's like God has no identity crisis. God is totally consumed with who he is. He's sovereign. He's immutable. He's, he, he, he's everything that we call him to be, but he is so real. God is so real. No fake about him. But the problem is you got this real God. But you got to try to present real God to fake people. And you go after concert, after conference, after concert, after service, and you're trying to make a decision. Will I keep it real with God? And may not get amens to pick up. Or do I fake it with people and have to get rebuked by God? I made a decision years ago that I'm going to trust and follow God. Yeah. Why? Because they told us something and it was an encouraging statement, but I think people took it too literal. And the statement was, fake it till you make it. The problem with faking it till you make it is, if you keep practicing faking it, you get good at faking it. And I think about three folk here will say amen on this one. Some of us come to church trying to impress people that are doing worse than us. Because we have the wrong perception of what victory really is. When you can praise God broke, that means you're doing better with folk that got more than you right now. And I don't know who in here got millionaire status, but your little bank account don't speak well of you right now. Your praise right now should be connected to what God said in your shall be and not in your yesterday. So I just think about two millionaires right now before I get into this word, because I feel God is about to bust a bubble in this house tonight. I mean, y'all not millionaires in 